You know what? Damn. I gotta shave tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Yeah, I'll shave tomorrow, Saturday, something like that. Probably tomorrow. Nah, tomorrow. I gotta do it. Probably do it tomorrow. Okay, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Man, I'm just looking at myself. Anyways. Uh, let me see here. Bon dia. Bon noche. Oh, hold on. Oi. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, bon dia, bon noche. Uh, yeah, bon dia. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Um, I'm going to answer some questions. And then some people I met around th oh, on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving, I went to this Brazilian place and I met some people from Brazil, from all, all over Brazil. And they are sponsoring me, so I got to do this first. I got some other videos that I like to do, but... And, and yeah, so it's going to be a surprise. What is this? Why am I tangled? It's going to be a surprise. Oh, this is the pina colada, something like that. Pina colada. And this is, uh, my, I got the Sean guy. It's, it's been doing me well, I guess, but long, it's got to hit my chest. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm here. Uh, so today is Brazilian day. Uh, actually, it's not Brazilian day. It's San Antonio day. I met somebody, a van lifer from San Antonio. And um, she's on her way to uh, Santa Monica, and she's going to come back up here, see if we can do the mountains. I can't go down there right now. I can't do. I, I actually can't go there tomorrow or any, anyways. But I'm gonna make the time. Um, anyways, so that's that's crazy. I'm like, you're pretty skinny. She's like, excuse me. I was like, it's some big women up there in San Antonio, ain't it? <laughs> anyway, so she got to know me real fast, real fast. All right, but I. Uh, I'm going to go through some text messages and they're testing my language too. They're testing my language and, but I'm, I'm going to use the translator cause, um, and then, so if you hear some sounds, if you hear some sounds, that's because they're still texting me and I'm gonna see if I can fit it in. So this is going kind of live. I'm live. All right. So let me, let me go through the first, it's just random topics on what, uh, I wonder or think about, uh, Brazil. And they're uh, same thing far as um, America. So let's see how it turns out. This thing. Can you guys see it? You guys can't see it. You can, you can see the scene. Can you see this? It's hotter than when I uh, uh, boiled it. It's 11 o'clock right now. I got up pretty early this morning. Five o'clock. Something around there. That was the first thing I did. I got up when i was getting ready so five something it was not five exactly five so i got up so let's say 5 30. i boiled this and that was the first thing i did i put it in the thing so then i just was getting slowly getting ready and all that and i didn't get to drink it because uh i still know there's a brazilian people who are waiting for me to do this and um i met them and um salsa i mean it's too damn early in the morning and um I didn't drink this because they had some, uh, some, some. They got they had some Brazilian freaking coffee over there. And anyways, so you know that's 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 my weakness right there. So now I'm like, oh, I can drink my hot cocoa that I made, what, six hours ago. Six. My math is bad. I gotta see in math, right? Six, five hours. I don't know. Anyways, a long time ago, and I can barely drink it. I'm amazed at this, uh, the insulation. I can barely drink this. I'm amazed at the insulation. I'm amazed how I can do that. Like, is my mind playing tricks on me? Yeah, all right, let me get to it. Okay, she wants me to read. Augusto, Augusto I don't know that word. Augusto mas do Brazil e... Okay, so I asked... Um, I asked, um, now that you're here in America, do you prefer to live here or in Brazil? And she says, Augusto mas do Brazil... A, oh, I don't know none of these words. Muto, intenso. Oh, I know that word, intense. Not America. Not America. Not America. In America. Ooh, that's I. That's all I know. Uh, It's, do, it's. Uh oh. Okay, so let me. Oh, let me. Let me. See, this is what she said. Eu gosto mais do Brasil. É muito intenso na América. Now, that was even harder. Okay, let me translate it. I like Brazil better. It's too intense in America. Oh, wow, you think that? Yeah. 
Wow, that's amazing. Okay, next question. Okay, so we're flip-flopping. Now she's asking me a question that I got to do live because she's also going to show this out there. Uh, she's still here right now, but when she, she's leaving pretty soon. I don't know any of these words, eh. And I have a hard time with that, the eh in the middle, like. And then also, you know what else I have a hard time with? In the beginning, like, okay, so the is eh and oh, right? But even now I'm kind of confused, like the oh, that is for people, right? That's when you're talking about a person. So the girl, the menina, the menino, right? So when you do that, right, that's oh. I can't put a, even though they both mean the. I got to put a when I say masa, like the apple, right? So the apple, the uh, emasa, you know what I mean? That part is hard for me. That's that's where I'm having a hard time. Like, I see why, like, I'm doing so good. They're like, you're doing so good. Like, you know, you, you know the language. You're just nervous. I said, no, I have a hard time with this. Anyways, anyways, I'm the hard time with the sentence, the ed, the ed, the o, le, so. I have a, uh, uh, uh. Tano, like Tim, Tano, Tana, shit, I forgot now. Anyways, I have a hard time. Has and have, you know what I mean? All right, I have a hard time with that, but the other stuff I can get, like, I'm like, oh, I know what this says. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. All right, I don't know any of these words. Eh, the di difference. I don't know what she said here. K A a difference, entry. Molinus, not America. I have no idea what you said here. This is advanced. This is advance. Okay, let me translate it real quick. Sorry, let me translate it. Uh, what is the difference in women in America and the Brazilian women that I met? Oh, I think I talked about it, oh, but I know you're catching up. Okay, but you don't know. You don't know. Um, you guys are a lot more loose. Even the guys there, there was no hating. Uh, oh, so so I went to this Brazilian place, as I said, and uh, I was the only, as far as I know, I was the only American in there. And um, um, there was no hating. And uh, you guys are very affectionate, touchy-feely. You know, it, it, that can really bring, like, because here, it can really be a trouble, you know. I can, I, I'll get into that. I kind of did already, though, but yeah, anyways, my answer is the difference. You guys were very relaxed, very loose, and you just you don't know me. And here people know me and they still get tense when I come around. So that was the difference. T the tense, uh, more intense women here. Uh, and you just got to be careful. Uh, it's going to take me some time to get used to the ladies like for as Brazil. Um, because I'm just not used to that. It's going to take some time because I was just born so much into you don't want to cause any trouble. You don't want any disrespect, stuff like that. You understand me? You understand me. Okay. Okay, I asked her, how is the racism um, all over? Just walking or dating? Uh, if I'm with a uh, white girl, uh, is it safe? How is that? And she always, you know, she wants me to try to read this stuff, but I can't read this. K racism. Well, uh, did she say what racism? K racism, racism, racism. I know that though. I don't know. I've never seen this word. Nahum, racism. Aqui, buenco, com, preto, naha, problema. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. I don't know what's blank, branco. Mas uh, police, uh, police, Oscos, Broncos. What is that? Broncos? Neo Gustum dos homens. Oh, that's men. That's men. No, Negros. Well, of course I know what Negros is. Uh, uh oh, I, I, I got to see what this says here. Vai Colacar na Candia Sim. Oh, I don't know none of that. Okay, let me transfer this. I'm sorry, excuse me here. Uh, what racism? Question mark. Uh, no racism here. White with black, no problem. But the police. Uh oh. Uh, the white police don't like the black men. Oh shit. <laughs> we'll put in jail. No excuses. 
no excuses, meaning, um, oh man, I wish you were talking to me right now. Meaning, um, because we talked a little bit about this, how we can just, you know, people with money can just get out of something that they've done terrible. They can just get out of it. But are, you know, sometimes um, people can get out because of white or, or even like black, you know, sometimes they just don't want to deal with, it could be a high profile viral video or something. So because I'm black, so we talked a little bit about that there. So I imagine that no excuses. You know how you can just get your way out of like sexy women can get their way out of uh, a ticket or speeding ticket or something like that. So I imagine that's what the no excuses. I wish she was here right now. Um, so no problems uh, with the white, with the black. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. She's got another one. Hold on. Hold on. Stand by. Stand by. Hold on. Let me just save time. Uh, I, I translated this. Um, she also said, if you find a beautiful woman of uh, any color here, no one is thinking about your different race woman. I have seen plenty of at least stares when mixed couples are seen in America. Huh. Yeah. That feels good to hear. Okay, let me keep going. Okay, she said, please read for her video. So I got to read this in uh, Portuguese before I translate it. Porque um homie. <laughs> I don't know. Is this a joke? Uh, I mean, she's got me reading this, so this must, I, I'm, I know who she is. So, okay, porque um homem. Is that some type of man? See, it's, oh, now this is going to confuse me, homie. Anyways, I'm anyway, oh, sorry, are you making me think? Okay, porque um homie, tal bonito. Como? I'm sorry, I'm thinking of what you're saying. Voce, oh, you. Uh, a, I don't know this one. Sotero, a, teno, half, uma, a, historia, uh, story, mister, numero, I don't know that. Mister, though, that sounds familiar. The mister, u, considerina, oh, consider, uma, a, uh, Mujer, mujer. Uh, I, I, I can't say it right, but that means woman in Brazil. Uh oh, I kind of know what you I think I know what you said. I think I know what you said. The last part, what I consider a woman in, in Brazil. Uh, and then do I have a story something? All right. Let me, hold on. Let me translate this. Why is such a. <sighs> why is such a handsome man like you single and have I a story on mixed dating? Uh, yes, uh, what I consider a Brazilian woman. Yeah. Uh, why is such, thank you. Uh, uh, that's I, I will have to get used to that, just the compliments I get. Uh, uh, here in America, uh, the compliments are there. I see. I know how to I, I know how to take it as a compliment. Anyways, you just say that. You guys say that so much. It's just I got to get used to that. Uh, why is such a handsome man like you single? Uh, because I want to be. Because I want to be single right now. Uh, and have I a story on mixed uh, dating? Yes. Uh, what can I share with you? Uh, since we talked about racism, uh, that was the that was part of the hard part. Um, I dated somebody from out the country who was white, and um, you know, there was a lot of stuff like she didn't even know. Like I can see where we were being followed. Um, it was not good, uh, but uh, I. I didn't want to panic her because she could panic. Uh, but yeah, there was one time I had to really be cool because just because we were a mixed couple uh, passing by and th there was there was some hate there. She had no idea. Um, uh, but one time she saw when we passed by uh, this group, uh, they were, um, it, it had caused attention. They, they had, uh, she saw me where I had to distract them before it got any worse, I had to get into the street part. So yeah, that's that's what I have to go through where just to walk, it could be a problem. So like a whole group came out, it was a barbershop and a whole group came out, but then I I, I talked and talked and talked and then it was like, oh, ain't nothing to worry about. Nah, we're not gonna waste any time. But if I had kept walking, they would have, it would have some shit probably would have happened. Would I consider a, a Brazilian? Yes, yes I would. Um, and you guys just reminded me of that when I went there, 
Um, um, and then seeing you guys before I leave, I, I, I got to see this again because anyways, yes, but yes, the answer is yes. Long story. Yes. I said, Catalina point blank, shoot it to me straight. Is Brazil safe for me to be there? Or is it, I'm sorry, is it safe? From, uh, I'm looking at her answer a little bit. Is it safe for me to be there in Brazil? She says, Brazil is uh, very safe, but just like America, there are not so safe places. You don't look, you don't look like a man that wants to go to the unsafe places. All you have to do is look and see this is a bad area. We do know that us tries to make us a unsafe place but never even been here to verify yes that's who we are that's who we are well you make me feel comfortable i'm going to see them again in a week oh in two weeks not in a week in a two weeks uh then they're leaving uh okay thank you that made me feel for whatever reason that made me feel good there okay because they're pretty observant Hold on, I'm translating this here. Um, okay, Carlitos, can you save this question for part two? My friends want to ask you some questions too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can you talk about uh the <laughs> the you guys are crazy, man. I see what the question is. Um can you talk about the intense? <laughs> Can you talk about the intense commercials in America? <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you want them to see that? I uh, you know, whatever drink you guys gave me, that was uh that that uh Okay, hold on, let me uh Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I can't remember the I was so in, into what we were talking about. I can't remember the, I can't remember. She's not texting me back right now. She's, she's busy. Um, I can't remember what I did. So I'm going to recreate because one of the topics we were also talking about was uh, like the women here uh, in America. So I could kind of answer her next question <clears throat> by doing this, doing this here. Like just the one. Oh, now she's messaging me uh, about the women. I don't want to read that. Uh, now you're distracting me. I gotta stay focused. I gotta, I'm, cause I'm almost done here. Um, we talking about just the women, like what men, like, and so the commercials I pay attention to is those, like those law office, those law offices and everything. You know, we're talking about women because just that Me Too movement, the modern women out here. You know, it's it's the real thing where that's what also makes me, cause you guys are so touchy feely. I mean, you guys just touch and you guys just touch and you guys just touch, and you know, yeah, there's a backup alarm like. Man, is she over here saying that I did something to her or whatever? It's in our minds. And then you can look at this uh, law, this law uh, office, or whatever. Have you been harassed? Have you been stalked and, and call call law office? Like, right. And then you look and then they give an example. And I had to tell this girl, this is an actor. I mean, even though it's real shit, it's real shit. This is what us men got to worry, you know, about, you know, even looking at them is, is harassing, you know? And and then they'll come up with the, the this girl up there. I'm I'm looking up at the screen like I'm at the place. Then they look at the up up and it's like this woman. Karen, tell us, Karen, you know Karen. Ke tell us, Karen, what happened to you? I was walking all alone. And then suddenly I heard this man speaking to me. <laughs> I tried not to look. And then I looked and he was staring right at me. <laughs> so I kept walking and then he spoke to me again so I started running and then I started hyperventilating don't you be like Karen you call us today you know that's how the, that's how the shit so I was like did it sound like that that's not the story I said though I said did it sound like that and they were all like yes yeah man and you know it's everybody it's not just Brazil it's everybody out the country uh, you know the Danish friends I have Sweden Everywhere, not just even everywhere. They've all talked about the American uh, commercials. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. It's 12, 15. So an hour and 15 minutes later, this thing is hotter than ever. Like this is crazy. So I can't even drink this. 
and I, I would like some hot cocoa right now, but it's, it's now it's anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna end it here because I got 10 more questions here and they keep asking me stuff, but then I don't know. I'll put a part two or something like that. Anyways, that was actually pretty fun. It was, I mean, well, fun. It was, it, that was good talk right there. I enjoy even, you know, the serious parts of joking part. So I'll do it again, but because they're, they're, oh, if you guys go to coffee, man, start following me on coffee. But really after January, I guess, because once I, once after next week, hopefully that's it. Next week, everybody know what I'm talking about. Then I can focus on a couple. But, you know, follow me on coffee. Then, you know, I do stuff there. I'm going to do stuff there. I do stuff there. I got some videos that's on there that's not being shown on, on YouTube. Um, I'll put the link down below in the description box. I'm going to end it right there because this is a long video I saw. And I'm going to just end it there. I thank you guys for watching. Um, toodaloo.